Have you ever wondered what being gazelle intense or sinking funds mean? Today, we're going to discuss a few of the terms that you hear frequently on the Dave Ramsey plan. Before we get started, before you've watched any of this video, put the one term down in the comment section that confused you when you first started the Dave Ramsey plan. Maybe it was baby step or maybe it was snowball. For me, it was sinking funds. I was like, what are those? Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have been on the Dave Ramsey plan for two years. We upload three videos a week to help keep you motivated while you're on the baby steps. So if that is something that interests you, click that big old red subscribe button down below. Speaking of baby steps, do you know what the baby steps are? The baby steps are the seven steps through the Dave Ramsey plan to financial freedom. Baby step one is a $1,000 emergency fund. Baby step two is putting your debts in order, smallest to largest, and paying them off as quickly as you can. Baby step three is funding a fully funded emergency fund of three to six months. Baby step four is investing 15% of your income into your retirement. Baby step five is starting to save for college. Baby step six, uh, I have stuff in my hands. I can't do six. So baby step six is paying off your home early. And baby step seven is financial freedom where you have no obligations except for like your power and your water bill. So baby step two, I mentioned something, but I didn't use the term. The second term we're going to go over is snowball sometimes referred to as the debt snowball. The debt snowball or snowball is when you put all your debts in order from your smallest to your largest debt, and that is the order in which you're going to pay them off. The next one is one of my favorites, budget. But Wendy, I already know what a budget is. Well, of course you do, but the only thing I wanted to mention is on the Dave Ramsey plan, budgets are awesome. Budgets give you cash. Budgets help you find where you are wasting your money every month. The next one is gazelle intensity. I actually did a whole video on gazelle intensity and I'll link that right up here in the eye in the sky. And I discussed our gazelle intensity and our version of it. Gazelle intensity is based on Proverbs 6 verse 5. Free yourself like the gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of the fowler. And his only options really were to say gazelle intense or bird intense intense and bird intense doesn't make any sense. One of my favorite things is when Dave yells cheetah. Oh, cheetah! Run! He tells the story of how a gazelle is going along gazelling and then a, a cheetah comes and that gazelle just runs. And that term gazelle intensity is to describe how that gazelle is running. They're not looking around, they're not looking back, they're not checking what's behind them, they're just going. Get away from the cheetah. The next one is Dave Ramsey rant. Dave Ramsey rants are when he just goes off. And I love them. They make me laugh. My very, very favorite rant is when he talks about how the government isn't going to save you. And if I can find it, I will link that one up right here so you can go watch it. I love it. The next term is the envelope system, or if you're a Rachel Cruz fan, the cash clip system. The envelope system or the cash clip system is a system where you just use cash to pay for absolutely everything you can pay cash for. And you either have separate envelopes or you have little clips holding your money together for different categories. So you might have a grocery envelope and a haircut envelope, reconcile. This term does not refer to a marriage that is falling apart. <laughs> no, the reconciling refers to your budget and it is like balancing your budget as you go along. As you spend money, you track the money where you've spent it. The four walls, food, shelter, transportation and clothing. These are the four things that you must have to keep your life going. And clothing does not mean a cute new blouse. No, 
It means absolutely necessary clothing. The next term is emergency fund. An emergency fund is exactly that. It's a fund for emergencies. It's a stockpile of money that you have in the bank for emergencies. And there are two kinds of emergency funds. There's the starter emergency fund, which is for baby steps one and two, and that is $1,000 only. And then there is one other kind of emergency fund, and that is a fully funded emergency fund, also known as an FFEF. The fully funded emergency fund comes in baby step three, and that is three to six months of expenses. The next term is the term that confused me the most, and that's sinking funds. Sinking funds are stockpiles of cash, either in cash form or in a bank account, that you are saving for things that you know are going to happen. For example, Christmas. Christmas comes every year, so you should be preparing for it. Annual insurance payments is another. They come every year without fail. If you have anything that needs insurance, so you might as well start saving for it. The next term is Murphy. Murphy, isn't that some dude? Yes, Murphy is some dude and his name is Murphy because of Murphy's Law. And Murphy will come and jump in your life when you least expect it and usually when you're already down and out. And as Dave says, he always brings his three cousins with him and I can never remember their names. Bro, dumb, Beavis, butthead, I don't know. There's three cousins. I have a mental block on their names, but that is actually one of my favorite things that Dave Ramsey says. When Murphy comes, he brings his three cousins with him. Broke, desperate, and stupid, I think. Free spirit. Next to the definition of free spirit, there should be a picture of Mauricio. People don't get any more free spirit, but what is a free spirit? A free spirit is a person in my mind that does not want to think about money. They want to be financially free but they don't want to think about it. They don't want to plan for it. They just want it to happen organically. And you can have free spirit spenders and free spirit savers. And a free spirit spender likes to spend money. And that's Mauricio. And a free spirit saver likes to save their money, but they don't want to think about it. And on the other side of the coin, you have the nerd. And a Dave Ramsey nerd is someone who loves to budget. They love to plan the numbers. They probably love Excel spreadsheets. They are happy doing the math at what interest rate is best for this and how long it will take you to be debt free. Melina moved those and it has been driving me crazy and I just remembered to mush them back together. I might be a little type A. A fleece. No, I'm not talking about a jacket. I am talking about a leased vehicle. Dave Ramsey calls it a fleece. Leasing a car is the way to fleece your money away because they make more money in the leasing office than they actually do selling cars. Cash flow. I actually just defined this recently, but cash flowing something is just moving things around in your budget so that you can pay for something unexpected. Or actually it doesn't have to be unexpected. It could be something planned, maybe an annual expense that comes in and you throw it into your budget and you just go ahead and pay for it without impacting anything else. Every dollar. Every dollar is Dave Ramsey's budgeting software. And he calls it every dollar because every dollar has a name. And that is what he says is the basis for zero-based budgeting. Oh, let me explain zero-based budgeting. Zero-based budgeting simply is when your income and your outgo are equal equaling zero, meaning your positive and your negative equal out to zero. Okay, this also confused me a little bit. It's usually seen as hashtags. Hashtag L-L-N-O-E. This one is living like no one else, as in you're debt free and now you can live like no one else because very few people understand the feeling and the happiness that comes with being totally debt-free. Plastectomy. That sounds bad. A plastectomy is when you cut up your credit cards with a big old pair of scissors like Dave does. Weird. Dave tells you to be weird because normal people are broke. If you're weird, you're not broke. I'm weird, but I'm just weird because I'm weird. I'm still broke.
A hundred percent down payment. It's a term that makes sense until you think about it. If you're putting a hundred percent down, isn't it paid for? Hundred percent down payment is his little nod to paying cash for everything. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.